from Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm here bringing you a baby story time with my very fuzzy baby. And since I'm alone in this room right now, I'm going to remove my mask so that you can hear me and understand me a bit better. And we're both sharing some rhymes and songs with you today here on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of the Métis. And we're going to start our story time the way we do every story time with our Hello Friends song. I'm going to play this song a couple of times, and the first time I'll play it on ukulele, but instead of saying hello, we're going to say hello in French. Do you know how to say hello in French? It's bonjour. Can you say bonjour? And we're going to sing together. Bonjour. is in French? It's ami. Bonjour, ami. I'm going to sing that one again with my baby doing the actions since he was feeling a bit left out. It goes like this. Bonjour, friends. Bonjour, friends. Bonjour, friends. It's time to say bonjour. Yay, and welcome. And this is a good facial awareness and body awareness song and a good way to start rallying people at the beginning of baby story time. It's called, well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Baby, where's your nose? I think it's right here. No, there's your nose. There's your nose, baby. So we're going to sing together. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Now we're going to touch your toes. Boop, 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 boop. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Where's your toes, baby? Touch your toes, touch your toes. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Next, baby, we're gonna rub your tummy. Where's your tummy? Pickle, pickle. Well, hello everybody, can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. Rub your tummy. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. And I have another good facial awareness rhyme that I like to do, and it's called Two Little Eyes. Baby, where's your eyes? They're under all this fur. I can barely see them. Two little eyes to look around. And two little ears. What's that? To hear every sound that you hear. One little nose to smell what's sweet. <sighs> and one little mouth that likes good things to eat. Let's do that one again. Two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear every sound. One little nose to smell what's sweet. Can you give a big sniff? <sighs> and one little mouth that likes good things to eat. <laughs> and what are these? Yeah, they're butterflies. And so now I'm going to do a little finger rhyme called Two Little Butterflies. And it goes like this. Two little butterflies sitting on a wall. One named Peter. The other named Paul. Fly away, Peter. And fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. And come back, Paul. Should we do that one again? Two little butterflies sitting on a wall. One named Peter. The other named Paul. Fly away, Peter, and fly away, Paul. 
come back Peter and come back Paul. Hello, Paul. And speaking of bugs that you might start seeing in spring, I have a rhyme about spiders. And it's called Little Spider. And it goes like this. We make a little spider with our fingers. See the little spider climbing up the wall. And we're gonna climb up baby's arm. Then see the little spider tumble and fall. And we're gonna slide that down baby's other arms. Whoosh. See the little spider tumble down the street. Boop, 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 boop. And we climb up baby's leg. And then see the little spider tickle my feet. Tickle, 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 tickle. Let's do that one again. Get out your spider. See the little spider climbing up the wall. Now see that little spider tumble and fall. See that little spider tumble down the street. And see that little spider tickling my feet. <laughs> and now I want to share a nursery rhyme with you that I will tell as a felt story. This is called Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet, there she is, sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider, and it sat down beside her. Yuck! And it scared Miss Muffet away. Ah! Oh, there's that little spider. Should we do that one again? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider, and it sat down beside her, and it scared Miss Muffet away. Eek! And now I have a rhyme called Tickle Monster. <gasps> tickle Monster, no! What will we do? When the tickle monster comes, are you going to hide? <gasps> hide baby's eyes. Or are you going to run? Run, 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 run. What will you do when the tickle monster comes? You better decide right now. Tickle, 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 tickle. The end. Let's do that one again. What will you do when the tickle monster comes? Are you going to hide or are you going to run, 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 run? What will you do when the tickle monster comes? You better decide right now. Tickle, 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 tickle. Are you ticklish, baby? Yeah, my baby's very ticklish. And now we're going to do a lap bounce called She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. And you can do this one with baby facing out, or if you're at home, you can even, if baby's a bit smaller, cradle their head and have them facing in, which is good for eye contact. I'm going to have baby facing out for this one. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yee-haw! She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yee-haw! She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yee-ha! She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Woo! She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Woo! She'll be riding six white horses. She'll be riding six white horses. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Woo! Baby, are you feeling wiggly? Oh, look at my baby with the wiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. We better do a wiggly rhyme called, I wiggle my fingers. Can you wiggle your fingers? And I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders and I wiggle my nose. How do you wiggle your nose? And now all the wiggles are out of me and I'm as still as I can be. Shh. Should we do that one again?
my wiggly baby like that. I wiggle my fingers. And I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. And all the wiggles are outside of me. And I'm as still as I can be. And you may have noticed that I repeat a lot of our songs over and over again, and that there's a lot of repetition week to week. And there is a good reason for that. And that's because repetition is very important in babies and toddlers in developing language. So if you have a toddler who keeps wanting to read the same book over and over again, just know it is actually very helpful for them. My baby seems a bit snuggly right now. So I thought this is a perfect time for a lullaby. And this is called This Little Child of Mine. This little child of mine, I'm going to let them shine. Oh, this little child of mine, I'm going to let them shine. This little child of mine, I'm going to let them shine. Let them shine, let them shine, let them shine. Oh, this little child of mine, I'm going to let them shine. Oh, this little child of mine, I'm going to let them shine. This little child of mine, I'm going to let them shine. Let them shine, let them shine, let them shine. Oh, my baby is looking pretty sleepy, but I think before we're done today, he does have one more song left in him to sing. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you for watching.